Good morning to one and all. Today we will talk about a very interesting topic which is very relevant for all the viewers, especially for the student. Whether it is an engineering student or any MBA student or any student having any kind of degree, it is a very useful topic. And today's topic it is related with the how you, we can crack the interview process. What are the tips by which anybody can crack any interview process? So I just wanted to share some few tips which I normally tell to the student and I thought why it cannot be told to all the viewers available on YouTube. The first tips which is very important when we are going for any company, when we are going for any kind of interview for any organization, then we have to do research about the company. Then we have to know each and every parameters about the organization, when it was established, when it was came into operations, what kind of organization it is all about, what kind of product or services they are giving, how many years old this organization is, the promoter of the organization, the founder of the organization, that everything we must know because every interviewer, whether it is an employee of the organization or a promoter or the founder of the organization, when they are taking the interview of any candidate, they always want to know something about the organization for their own mouth, their own words. Because if you are going for an interview, if you are not knowing about the company, then I think it will automatically create a negative impressions among the interviewer. That is the first tips which I normally feel that a student must know. When you are going for any interview, you should know about the company, about the organization, about their product, whether it is in the product, whether they are the manufacturing company or the services. The second tips, which is very important, this is related with your resume part, because this is the tips which are given by my side, that is for all the freshers who are going to apply for the new job, that is for the dream job, that is for the first job. So that is the second tip, which is very important, that you have to make your career objective in the resume very effective as well as as per the requirement of the job. For example, you are going for a marketing job. You have written something related with the programming in your career objective that you want to make your career in the career objective uh, in the field of programming. Then the interviewer will have the impressions that you are not interested for the marketing job, but you have got the opportunity. That's why you apply for it. Your negative impressions will automatically create it in the mind of the interviewer at the initial phase of the interview. You have to arrange, reframe and modify your career objective as per the requirement. It means if you go for technical jobs, then your career objective must be related with the technical aspects. If you are going for sales job or the marketing job, then the career objective should be accordingly. If you are going for the designing job, then the objective should be as per the job requirement or the profile you have got from the company. The third, which is again one of the important point that don't do argument with the interviewer. If he is asking an irrelevant question, which is not related with you, which you feel that is not at all useful or which is not at all related with the profile, which they have mentioned in the uh, interview or the job, but they are asking an irrelevant question, but no need to do the argument. If you are not feeling that the interview question is not as per your specification and your uh, capabilities, then you can say, sir, I don't know the answer or I think um, uh, it is not related to my film. So that answer can be given, but don't do the argument. Sometimes students always say, sir, what kind of questions you are asking? It is not at all related to the jobs. But an interviewer always ask the questions to check your behavior, your sense of understanding, your adaptability towards the organization. So don't argue. Don't do the argument with the company official or the interviewer. The fourth, be punctual. When we, give, we are going for the interview, we have to be on time. We have to reach on time. We have to go before five minutes or ten minutes as per the schedule given to us for the interview. Be patient because interview is not the task where you are just going for the knowledge. Interview is checking your behavior aspect also. So they are also checking your patience part. For example, you went for interview at 11 and your interview came at in the evening time at 5 but you are feeling why I have not delayed but they were checking your patience. How much patience you have for appearing for an interview. 
the last and the foremost point that is no need to negotiate about your salaries normally what interviewer also asks a candidate also asks so what salary i'll get this is not sufficient for me this salary is not at all as per the capabilities what i have because you are the fresher you are studying your career you are studying your life the initial phase of your career development so i think as a fresher you no need to be very choosy so package salary it is all immaterial thing if you are really getting a good exposure really getting a good company good profile then whatever salary you will get that will always give you the benefit sometimes company officer also just wanted to check your behavior they can ask the question we want to just give you the job but we just wanted to check the knowledge for one month we will not be any salary then student always ask the query sir why but no need to say why they are only checking whether really are you interested for the job or not so i think these all five tips first we have to definitely research about the company second no need to do the argument third we have to be punctual and we have to make the patience as well as fourth we have to make a resume or the career objective as per the requirement in the end no need to negotiate at the initial level after having the experience of more than 10 year 5 year you can negotiate you know your capabilities you know how to work because already you have worked in the organizations so i think these all things are very relevant very important and very beneficial for our student and this is all from our side next time we will again come with a new innovative videos and the useful video for you all guys and with that thanks a lot jai hind